Welcome back guys to Triforce Heroes as we move on from stage 2 of bomb storage to more puzzling on stage 3. We've done a lot of bomb huffing around the place. Bombs being chucked all around. And now what have we got? Well it's far away as our destination point. There's much platforming to be done. It seems we need all of these guys to be on here or not. Okay we can reach there but is it gusting the ship along here. Well, we only need to worry about Blue Link in terms of health here. That's not too bad for us. Right, apart from that, we obviously need to chuck a bomb into there. And there's a lot of rupees coming up, so to get them looks like it might be a bit harder. So we can get up high enough to get one rupee on a chuck. I guess if you pick them up, then you could chuck them through to get a whole lot more. As if we need the rupees, if you know what I mean. We'll add you into the spiky, arrowy puzzle now. It's just getting this one now. The one closest. There we go. That's a ton of rupees gained again. Oh, I nearly walked off then. That would have been a free link fall. That would have not been good. We made it over to the side without much hassle. So that just pulls the thing back to either side. Okay. This is going to be problematic with the way it's going to fall. Just keeping it in here is a bit harder than I'd like. I'll just knock it off. I don't care once I've got the 20 rupees. And now where are we going? Right, so we need to get over that way? And how do we go about doing it? We hit a switch there. That brings that back. Did we miss... Oh, we missed the switch. Where did we miss that? Well, I didn't even realise. Too busy staring at the rupees to care. So yet again, we need... I don't think we can chuck that that far after all. It's going to be launched. But how are we going to go about doing it? Unless from that side's easier. How do I go about just getting the bomb onto the right spot first? It won't just let me put down after all. Oh, unless I do it like this. Aha! Because of the placement, if I arrange myself like that, pop out a bomb, and then blast it, Oh, really? You can't blast it from his hands? I thought that would have been a definite. Ow! Unless maybe it's on the first floor you can do that. Oh, you can blast him? Well, that's not useful for us. This would be great if we just had a put the bomb down thing at the moment. But I can't chuck a bomb onto this without chucking it off. So maybe we're approaching it from this side. Well, that looks way too far away. Maybe it's just I have to be free people tall and doing it. Doing the chuck from there. It's just knowing exactly what it wants of me. Has to be free people tall. Overcomplicating it because of just wondering what it wants from me. I'm pretty sure I've done that several times so far in this let's play through. Of where I'm thinking the puzzle's gonna be harder than it is. Like the time when I was just clawing onto a fence going, Oh yeah, so I need to do this. 
and didn't just swim straight under. There's one very obvious moment where I've just overcomplicated matters immensely. As we move on to stage four, I imagine we've got ourselves some bomb blowing. Oh, very much so, if you think those guys are going to be chucking bombs at me willy nilly. Let's change to Green Link, because of course he's going to be the best one for throwing bombs back. In fact, it's best if I just intercept, is it? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't reach. Okay, so I do need to blast them. Well, there's one in. Two in. Problem is after that. So I need to be quite close and blast them from there. In the meantime, running out of energy isn't so good for us. I need to blast at the right time as well. Oh, it can go up there in the meantime. You only need one of us down here though. There's another one in. Hasn't stopped him yet though. But that was a perfect delivery. All we have to do is wait for the explosion. And for three more to appear, I bet. Oh, just the one with a massive bomb. I can't pick this one up. Are oh, you going to change each time, are you? Oh, this is horrible. Thank you for giving me the lucky there, but... There's more blasts than this guy's bomb back in his face, that's my problem. And this is not going too well for me. How am I supposed to get it back from there? I just gotta guess the door he's gonna be at and then blast the bomb at the right time, but that doesn't seem to work either. I hit him! As long as I'm not in line with him, it seems that the bomb won't be as easy to move either. Yeah, there are multiple people trying to get to the bomb to the right spot. Don't chuck it this way! Especially because I'm going to blast it off like that. Just getting in the right place again. Hit him again. Brilliant. Finally. So he's appearing on the third one, which I'm never going to get that near. Basically, I just have to be standing in front of the third one when he tries to blast. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll get this one. Indeed we did. A boss explosion leads us to not so many rupees. Oh no, we got rupees. It's all fine. Where's me though? That's the real question. Let's get the red rupees as a priority. Oh, I didn't manage to get those blue ones, but everyone is nicely in position-ish. For us to get our reward, finally. Charge! Which one? On the right. And we got a royal ring! Alright, we managed to strike it lucky that time. Bomb storage is complete. And now we have over 4,000 rupees. So much. So much. And nothing to spend it on. Right then, is there anything we can aim for at this point in time? Yes, I know my level completion is good. But we need to know what we can get and when we can get it. Oh, we need to... You know, oh, so we can't see the amount of materials. No, we can see them. That's fine. Fresh kelp, we're going to get that. Fairy dust, we get that. We get another one. Seems like we might be able to make this one. 
No, we need more monster guts, I think. I oh, know it says we got enough there, but I guess we can go and make it. Okay, let's go make ourselves a Gorin outfit at the very least then. If we can get one, then that's not so bad. We've been just trying to get outfits for ages and not being able to really afford the stuff for them. Excuse me, everyone. I'm going to buy a new outfit because I can. And we're in the lucky loungewear, is it? What do you want to make? Well, I just want to make any outfit, really. It's been so long. I've been in this costume for a long time. We can make the cozy parka. Stops you slipping on ice as well. We can do that. And if we could get the freezard water, we could have made the tingle tights. That would have been weird enough. All right, Silver Fred here will be able to make us a sword suit. On top of that, makes your sword shoot beams. It's really quite a sight. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? So Silver Fred from the first level, if we could have got to make that. A stiff puff royal ring. We've got some stuff there. Well, the royal ring here for the rupee regalia. So all we can make at the moment is a Goron suit. And a frosty suit. Wait there, I'll make it one you'll never forget. Indeed, the Goron Gab is made. Madame Couture, you've done it again. It's perfect, down to the last detail. Well, what are you waiting for? Get changed. And so we now have the Goron Gab if we want to be fire resistant. It's not slipping on ice thing would have been good. Hmm, I do like that rather hard chiseled look. I'm sure you do, madame. Right then, we're going to order the anti-slip costume as well, because to be honest, I'd rather just not slip anywhere at any time. It seems like a good costume and a good use of our rupees. Madame Couture, you've done it yet again! It's perfect, down to the last detail! Well, we got ourselves two new costumes then. As Link becomes an ice climber. So I guess the next one for us to aim for is the sword suit, really. Ah, oh, it's my little hero Cole. Do some jumping jacks and you'll be alright. I'm sure. So now we've got the cozy Parker as well as everything else. At least we've changed our costume for the first time in forever. I'm not sure this is the right weather for it. But I'm going to save now and we're going to jump back in for some more missions. So with the power of editing, let's move forward. And while I say we're going to be moving on straight to the action, we actually move on to another day as welcome to Daily Riches. Come give it a try. It's time for us to claim our prize. The blob jelly will be ours. Last one, go big or go home. Basically, we know we're getting it. Congratulations indeed, we have a winner! After a loss, the only way is back up, hey? Doesn't it feel good? I'll get a new prize ready, so come back tomorrow! Okay, we will, we shall indeed, but more to the point, supposedly, we need to collect those things that we haven't been winning with as much as the rest, so while the town keeps changing, at least with the formations of the people, let's just go on for more battling adventure. Set off the guy, and summon our doppels yet again. Because rewards or good items are stuff we need as well. Excuse me, we want to set off. You can make yourself the weird noises. You can tell us there's one customer coming up. Your mystical chant has been deciphered by my audience. And so we get moving to the next level in turn. Where it seems everyone has a set formation. To stage three, the training ground, we have ourselves silver thread that we can gain, antique coin that we can gain. We've got one of pretty much everything else there. So the bow, the grip shop, and the gust jar. Let us train some more. Of course, it's probably best, even though we got two new costumes, to stay at the moment. Actually, let's use the Kokori clothes, because if we get ourselves the bow on that character, we'll be fine, won't we? More power, more aloes. Let's try out the first level of which, right. At the moment it sounds kind of crazy, like we might be involved in a big battle here. Well, let's step here and see what we will get. Okay, what's you when you're alone? 
Doesn't seem to be anything at the moment. What if we throw someone on top of it? Like a totem thing? It seems they're active, but not so active. They are a bit more active, however, once we switch to them. And now they've deactivated, so what's all that about? If anything, I think we should try and find an item or two first, don't you? Let's not chuck our mates in the lava, though. So basically, probably the best way to fight these is to switch to a character behind. Oh, we, we can hit them with other links? That's kind of cool. The switcherooing seems to work fine. Can use you as violent victims. Well, there we go. That's what we want. A bow and arrow on Kokoro and Link. Alright, so now we can fire the three arrows in a nice spread. But by the look of it then... We're doing something involving shooting these guys in the eyes. So we could probably just put one on top to activate. And then look to do something from here. Well, it doesn't seem to be the case at the moment, but maybe that's upping our overall... ...ness here? It's not like I can... Oh, I can steer it! Okay! So maybe we just want to get it to the next location. Rather than let it continue on by itself. Did that do anything though? That's what we're wondering. Moving it to a completely different place doesn't seem to have really got us anything there, maybe? Maybe it's meant to be a platform for us? Well, it seems we can move it from place to place, but for what reason? We've got... Three switches we need to hit. Could we send our Link a little bit further here so that he can shoot over to get multiple? I think it might be the case. Well, if they're higher in the first place and we can hit one from there, then if we switch like this, We can actually open the way because of the Kokori costume, however, we haven't actually made it over yet. So if I'd say by the look of it, we have to throw some people on top so they can go in the lava? This is a bit of a risk, isn't it? Well, it sounds they have different fun times on the grate there. Let's see what happens if we direct them this way. Across the lava without a care in the world, of course. So we finally figured out what we were doing by the look of it. Let's use Kokori Link here because of course he'll be able to fire arrows at this guy and stop him even attacking us. Right, so now that we're over we can get ourselves two rewards. Or more to the point, stand on these switches with two people. To open up the way, so we haven't really done that puzzle correctly, it's just figuring out what to do at that point in time. So we've got one with a gust jar, one with a completely different reward of course. And now we have three items with which to puzzle with. That was an interesting little puzzle, so we know that they can definitely go in lava now. But we now need to hit four switches. Which is quite obvious in how we're going about to go about and do that, isn't it? Let's get over and put it in and on. Now that we know definitely what we're doing after all. That leaves a link for every switch. Plus a statue. So, got ourselves some niceness there, or more at the point, got that bit done. Completed one stage with a new puzzle mechanic straight away. And so, training ground stage two begins, but we'll continue on with all of this craziness 
next episode where it seems we're going through a hole somewhere. Where are we going? Join us next time for more! Bye-bye.